dad and I went to the art place, I forget the name, and we painted these for you. We hand painted them and we are not artsy at all, but your sister Sophia is very artsy. So um, she wasn't that impressed by these, but maybe you'll do better, who knows. Well, I turned 37 this year and I was thinking of freezing my eggs. So I was getting the test done to freeze my eggs and <laughs> I didn't get all the way to freezing my eggs because literally like a week later, I became pregnant. Baby Micah, I told, I told your mommy that a lot of this stuff is not practical, but it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> How cute your little shoes are. I didn't know for about three weeks or a month, and when I found out, I was so shocked, I literally stared at the pea stick for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I'm pregnant? She sent me a picture of like the stick. <laughs> She didn't even tell me. I don't even remember how I found picture. out. Yeah. Wait, I want to show Micah what I got her. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sam, Aunt Sam will pull it out. I just got your mommy this shirt. Just because always tell her it's okay. <laughs> Aunt Nush oh always has is, your back, so it's okay. That is the perfect shirt. Oh, well, I got a color book, not like for coloring, to learn about your colors. And then I got an animal book with different animals in it. And then I got a book, it's a hundred words that she can learn. You know, like I said, I'm 37 and I've been so focused on my career my whole life that to be able to now have the chance to be a mom is like the best gift that God could ever give me. So I'm really excited about baby Micah. Micah's really lucky because she's very, very loving, forgiving, and like well, she's very nurturing, yes. even to her niece and her nephew. She's always been super, super nurturing. So this is going to be an easy transition as far as that it goes. Um, you know, but like with any new parent, there's a lot and it's a long journey, but yeah. it's the best journey. I have an idea for my two sisters who both have a kid of what I'm about to face, but I hear you never know until you actually go through it because it's a lot of work. Being pregnant has been a lot of work. I mean, I've had a great pregnancy. I haven't been sick at all. And I, you know, I've been working out the same, but now in the third trimester with seven weeks to go, I'm tired all the time. All these clothes here are from Italy, actually, from um, Christina Cellini. She is a stylist to your dad who doesn't like to shop for himself, but she got you all these cute clothes. I think it's, so amazing that my sisters flew in from Vegas. My best friend and her sister flew in from um, where they live, Atlanta and Kentucky, to be here today. And so many people are coming to support me. I know baby showers are not fun. They like the Shanae Rose. You, can we get an endorsement? <laughs> we love the Shanae Rose. <laughs> But I tried to make this one fun. You know, there's uh, rosé, champagne, a lot of food. And it just means so much to me to have everybody here. And it makes me feel so blessed. My excitement at all for, for you, Micah, I am just so overjoyed. Just as much as your mom, I feel like you're my baby as well. Can't wait to meet you. And I know in the future, you're gonna have so many little besties that are gonna be ours one day as well. So you are just gonna be the first one that you're just gonna set the path for all of them. Oh, it's so good. 
I only do this for Kavita. Baby <laughs> Mommy loves you already more than you know, and carrying you has made her radiate and glow. We love your mommy and already love you too. So remember our words, they're honest and true. Your mommy has always been a blessing to others and you will be too. You're because you are part of her and she is a part of you. We love you Kavita and Micah, and today we celebrate the two babies you are. From all of your family and friends both here. I wanted to, instead of taking gifts for Micah, we are taking donations for Holy Cross Maternity. Um, ward because there's a lot of babies that come in there that are born and the parents can't even afford a car seat to take them home. So the hospital legally can't let them go home. So when I spoke with the nurses there and they told me that, I was like, forget it. Like, we can buy her whatever she needs. Let's have everyone, um, you know, gift to these babies in need. And especially now with the hurricanes that just happened, there's going to be even more families in need. So I've been getting packages all week and today we're going to be getting more and I'm so excited for us to be able to deliver them to Holy Cross um, and I hope that baby Micah um, continues with that same theme of generosity and helping others that, that we like to have for ourselves.